$100 just to stand outside the courthouse. Julia Hackstaff was told by an acquaintance on Facebook it was for an acting gig as an extra. He told me very basic information about needing 30 people for Monday from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. and that I would get $100 for, for that, those two hours. When Hackstaff arrived, she was checked in and handed a sign. The group of young people stood out, so reporters started asking questions. Hackstaff thought it was all part of the shoot. For a moment there, I thought, oh, maybe the action was already called. Uh, maybe they want extra material for performing background stuff, which, which seemed weird because they would normally tell you about it before. She quickly realized the reporters were real people doing their jobs. Hey, wait, what group are you with? I'm leaving, sorry. No, what's your, what's your name? You got a free Miss Mung sign? While Hackstaff left, others stayed. That's when the Huawei CFO arrived for day one of the extradition hearing. We're not allowed to talk, so... Is it the folks say why you're here? Um, we're all here just individually. It's kind of for a school thing, but we all go to different schools. Okay. And what do you think of this old uh, Mrs. Ming at your... I don't want to speak on it. I'm sorry. Hackstaff immediately wrote to the Facebook friend who originally contacted her. He seemed to not know either. He seemed to also not know that it was an actual pro protest. The signs, though, appear to look similar, like they were written by the same person. Mung's company has told the CBC it was not involved in the protest at the courthouse yesterday. But a second person who the CBC has agreed not to identify says she was recruited by a friend, paid $150 to show up at the courthouse and hold a sign. I had to go after and Google what Hawaii was because I had never heard that before in my life. I didn't even know it was a company. If I didn't know, I would think it was a country. Both women say they don't know who is ultimately responsible. It's been horrible to be portrayed as, as someone that would do something like that for money, and we were lied to. The CBC has left messages with two people identified as possible organizers, but neither have responded.